Good morning, my beautiful sisters. I'm here to tell you, protect your wombs. And not only just that, guys. Like, keep your standards. I really believe a lot of women are afraid to sometimes implement some of our standards because we are afraid of eliminating the potentials. For example, dating baby daddies or a single father. You know, I have grappled with this decision over the years and I'm like, okay, but if I eliminate this group, that means like I'm eliminating maybe like 60% of men. And, you know, over the years, I've learned that we have to really stand firm with our standards because when you are acting in fear, you're going to end up settling for something that you don't really want. Having high standards or certain particular standards that you stand by will help you remain consistent with the type of people you allow into your life and into your circles. This also goes beyond just dating, but also friendships. You need to remember that you are the one that's going to have to live with the decisions that you make. So if you go out of your standards or what you want or require from a relationship, then you are the one that's going to have to deal with that. And if that relationship turns out to be bad or you turn out to figure that you have settled, you will end up resenting the relationship or feeling some sort of way that you could have done better. I also believe the fear of eliminating a particular group of men should not be turned into fear, but it should be turned into confidence that you know exactly what you're looking for. And also, men are very good at this. We need to actually learn something from men in this aspect. When a man realizes that it's not he's not interested in you anymore, it's not a good match, or he's not what you're looking for, men are very quick to let it go. They will ghost you, they will not come through, they will just disappear and the relationship will just become funny. And us women always want to date for potential. We always want to date for benefit of the doubt and men don't do that so I don't see why us women do that when we say that oh we're not going to date baby daddies that means it's going to make the pool much smaller anyway you know if you think about the stats in South Africa which I did post a, a few weeks ago actually more than a week ago a few weeks ago like a month or two ago some of those stats said like 60% of children are born into a single mother household and do not have a father figure so in reverse, that would also mean that about 60% or at least 50% of men have children that they're not looking after. So now, do you want that type of man to be your man that is not willing to look after his own child? First, number one. And number two, those are not the principles that you want to live by. Because at the end of the day, why would you want to be with someone that can't even take care of his own child? In my book, 30 Plus Child Free and Happy, I do go into some chapters talking about maybe not finding the one, um, the decision or acceptance that I had to realize that if I don't get married, I'm not going to have children. And then also embracing singleness. You know, I can only talk from a perspective that I am in is that I'm not in a committed relationship right now. You know, maybe one day I will be and then I'll be able to write on that. But those type of chapters really, um, I've written them to provoke us to think about these things because sometimes us as women can set ourselves up for disappointment and failure because we don't think about certain aspects maybe the fact that you will not meet someone or maybe the fact that it will take you longer and we need to find joy and peace in our decisions <clears throat> you know yes it's a blessing to have a child and to get married and all that but God does bless us in different ways you know he blesses us with peace with time with joy with a sound mind there are many different ways that that God blesses us. So in my book, I do tackle some of these chapters and also the negativity around being child free. But mostly I do touch on the positivity and what we can gain from this lifestyle. So DM me for a link to get my book. It is out on my stand store for purchase. And for this month, there will be a discount on the original price. So please do purchase it while it is on discount so that we can keep learning and engage with each other. I will be making lives about these different chapters. And if you have purchased the book, we can also go through it. There are journal entries. There are important questions to ask yourself. There are activities. There are different dialogues that you can prepare within yourself and how to say no. I think something a lot of women can struggle with, I have struggled with this over the years, is learning how to say no and being fine with it.